right guys, so here I am, Mary 2 kdk here, um, showing you guys how I have added some things to the My Father's World curriculum for the fall unit study. Um, because each month I will still be having a unit study, but I want it to be able to be tied into the curriculum. So I was so happy that this month we were doing apples, leaves, and birds. Um, and I managed to turn all of that into fall, and I, I'm very grateful. So this, um, you already saw how I do the sheets right here. So this is just some leaf and fall facts and that he did. Again, I use this just to show, to remind him of what he's learned throughout the week. And again, this is not what is required by my father's word. This is something that I do. And he draws a picture. He tells me what it is, and I write it down verbatim just like he said it. Just like he said it. So I really enjoy doing that. Some of these things I picked up from other teachers, unit planners that they have on the internet. A lot of them I just searched, um, searched and found them. And then a couple of things I created, so let's get started. This is actually a nice math packet. And I mean, oh, actually just a, a fall packet. And it comes from right here, Mama's Learning Corner. And this is something that she offers for free. I believe it used to be for sale, but since, since it's a year old, I believe it's free now. And um, basically, this is a math sheet here and on the other side it just has like you know matching the number of what's on the paper right there so those were good math sheets that we did this is actually something from my father's work that coincided with the apples and it worked out because again you know you're learning about what the subject is for that week and we actually took a field trip to an apple orchard so this is what we did when we came back I asked him questions and I wrote down his answers and this was really, really fun to do. He was covered in paint. I was covered in paint. It was a great activity. This is a arm hand apple tree. So you paint your child's arm, your child's forearm, brown. And I even painted the palm of his hand and let him put that there. So that is your tree um, trunk and branches. And then you use your hands to make green leaves. You use your fingers and thumbs to make apples. And so this was a really fun thing to do. And we actually did this over two weeks. The first week we made the tree because we were learning about leaves. So we made the tree and the leaves. And then the next week when we were learning about apples, we made the apples. So that was really fun to do. Here are some more fall worksheets I got from the same thing, Mama's Learning Corner. I will put a link below to this direct fall unit. I know that when this video goes up, it will be later on in fall, but it's still fall. And then again, you can use it for next year or throughout, whatever you decide to do. So we have not done this one yet. We're going to be doing these next week to end out the month. But this is just some beginning letter sounds here. So you're putting down what the word starts with. And then I really like this introduction or review over vowels. What vowel is missing from the word. And vowels are something that I've been introducing him to. So um, also... I have this right here, and this came from there too. But what I did with these that are that is super awesome is I kept took this sheet and I printed out four of them, one to keep and three to cut up and turn into fall math manipulatives. So all of these little things right here, the apples and the pies and the turkeys, they're all right here along with some addition signs, some subtraction signs, and equal signs. And we can use these for bingo pieces. I've been using these for math. Um, subtraction and addition I'll be able to use these just for years to come these pieces right here so I'm really excited about that for pattern sequencing so I really really was excited about this sheet and I don't know why I did that but I'm glad I did and then this one I just keep whenever we did the pattern we just filled that in right there so that's what this is and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these up when we're done and turn it into what I would um, turn it into some more of the fall math um, manipulatives dried leaf project so these are actually leaves that we dried and we painted with some of them we went around the city and picked them up at various places throughout this month and we dried all of our leaves and we've been using them to paint and use stencil and all kinds of stuff so that's what we've been using these for these are the two badges for the leaf and the apple weeks um and those are the thoughts for the week and I take, I'm going to take these badges at the end of the year and turn them into magnets. Laminate them and turn them into refrigerator magnets. That's my goal. Something super fun that we did. He asked if we could learn about squirrels. So we have here some squirrel puppets. And he colored them. He colored each one a favorite color for him, his mommy, his daddy, and his grandparents. And um, luckily we all have most of the same favorite colors. 
And we did these and we got to perform them with some nice, fun, fall um, poetry. So he got to do these and we read squirrel books. And I actually learned a lot about squirrels that I didn't even think to pay attention to because, I mean, they're just squirrels. But clearly, they have some things going on with them. So that was really fun to do. And I will put a link to this below, um, this activity below, because I thought it was super duper cute. And last, currently we are on the week for birds. And, um, well, actually the nest week. And you saw a glimpse of that in the previous video. So our letter this week is in, and we're learning about nests and birds. So this right here is going to be a bird that we put on a paper towel roll. So this is the template for that. I opted to go ahead and do it in color instead of having him color it. Um, so this one will go on. Oh, this is the one that goes on the toilet paper roll. And then I have another one that goes on a paper bag. And then I have another one that goes on a... Um, so this is what this one will look like. And I will put a link to this below if you are interested. Or you can pause the video and type all that in and it should come right up. But I'll put a link below to this. And so this goes on the paper bag. And then I believe this one goes on the, yes, the toilet paper roll. So we're going to make those next week to finish up our thing. And then last but not least... I included pumpkin stuff because we are finishing up fall, our fall unit for the month of October. Um, but don't worry, there's still time to do some of these activities for fall. So we went over today how to um, how a pumpkin grows. So this one is still in black and white. I'm going to allow him to color it. But I just told him the story. And then I took these that I had already cut out and colored. And these are pumpkin pop-ups. And um, I'll put a link below. But I took these and I asked him to retell me this story using these and he did a great job so when we come back from our next field trip we'll be taking on Monday to the pumpkin patch he will be able to color these and remind him of his field trip and then we're going to pick up a pumpkin there and we're going to use it to measure um, we're going to measure our pumpkin not with this this is actually just an activity that involves pumpkins since we're doing pumpkins as well to finish up fall so you cut this out and that's your pumpkin ruler and then you see how many pumpkins each thing is in length. Then this is a nice little fall word search. And you don't want to be discouraged about letting your child use these um, at an early age. I kind of thought that he wouldn't be able to handle it. But he's he's been doing okay with them. He does get frustrated because he um, is not reading all the way. You know, like a third or fourth grader yet. But it's good because it's helping him to spell out words. So he doesn't even realize how much he's learning when he's doing these word searches. And then this will be our pumpkin observation um, sheet because we're doing pumpkin science. We did apple science. We did apples. For apple science, we went to the grocery store. We got um, five different varieties of apples. And we weighed them at the grocery store. Then we picked out our two favorite by looks. And we measured them, their width, their height. We cut them open. We, and before we did that, we estimated their width, their height, their seeds, and um, their taste, if they would be sweet or sour. And so this time, we're going to do our pumpkin science. So this is our pumpkin observation sheet. So we'll be able to draw a picture of our pumpkin and fill all this out. And then we're going to cut it open and get all goopy. We're not going to make a jack o' lantern. We don't do Halloween here. However, we're going to cut it open. And just dig in it. You know, every child deserves to stick their hands in a pumpkin. I just think it's fun and slimy. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to get messy and just have a good time. So um, that is what we're doing. Those are some of the fall activities that we have been doing for our fall unit study. Um, I will put a link below to things that I have found helpful. And if you have any questions, then definitely let me know. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you guys in the next video. Enjoy your fall. Have a great day. Bye.